Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a review of a fragrance and the fragrance in question today is Hollister Coastline. I know, Hollister might not be the coolest of brands anymore but this fragrance I just love. So like all of my reviews I'm going to try and split it up to, into sections and try and give you the best review I can personally but um, if there's any questions that you want or need please put them below and I'll try my best to answer them but yeah this is Hollister Coastline. I'll start off with the price. The price of this is £28 for I've got the Hollister website up here just to make sure it is the same it says 1.7 fluid ounces which in UK money is 50 mils so you get 50 mils for £28 which is actually Compared to designer prices, that is really good. So, like, designer ones would probably cost, for 50 mils, they cost about £50. We're talking, like, Dior and Chanel and Hugo Boss and fragrances on that calibre. Whereas this is High Street. So, this is fairly expensive for High Street, but Hollister, I suppose, is trying to be not so... Not, like, next. Well, no, next prices and top man and stuff are similar-ish to um, Hollister. I haven't actually been in a Hollister store for... I've probably been in there, but I haven't brought anything myself for a while. I knew the prices were a bit steep back in the day when everyone was crazy for it. But um, they're trying to be more like fast fashion these days. So £28 in compared to other high street brands is fairly expensive where you've got the necks and the top mans of the world doing them for like tenner. So it is pretty pricey compared to that, but I think it is worth it. And this is the cheapest, I believe, of the Hollister fragrances. I'll try and have a look, but I remember I had SoCal back in the day. And that was £35 or 36 or something, so this is 28 so it is a bit cheaper than SoCal, which is meant to be their signature fragrance, which they kind of spray throughout the store. So leading on to smell, this has like a Hollister vibe about the smell, of course it is. It's not the classic smell like the store, do they even do that smell? Does, do they spray the stores with that smell? I'm pretty, I don't know, but it's kind of a mix between Abercrombie Fierce and the Hollister smell. So cross between like the smell of Abercrombie and the smell of Hollister. I haven't been in a Abercrombie store in a while either, so can't really remember what that smells like, but I think it was a mix between this and that. Longevity of this. Now this lasts longer than your average high street fragrance. Um I would say it's pretty com like it's not up there with like Dior or anything like that and like Victor and Rolf which last all day. This lasts probably a couple of hours but it's not like instantly gone and you can smell it throughout the day but it's not as strong. One it's an Eau de Toilette I think, let me just read the bottom. Eau de Cologne, so that's not toilet, excuse me. But um, so that means it is a bit lighter I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. So the longevity isn't going to be the same as an Eau de Toilette or Eau de Parfum. It doesn't last as long, but it lasts a bit longer than like the next fragrances, for example. I'm kind of comparing it to that because the high street brands. So that's my comparison for that. But in terms of the smell, it smells like an American, like, I don't know how to explain it, American football person? Not that I've ever smelt an American football person, but you know, it's kind of got like a masculine vibe. vibe. Um, let me see what the website says about the fragrance, if it has a description. It says it's a bold confidence blend of mandarin, sage and woods. So it is, it is, it is quite woody. It is like a wood, I can smell like sage and like a bit of mandarin, so it's a bit, a little bit orangey, yeah. I would agree. And it says, Coastline reminds us of morning surfs on the shore of Malibu. I've never done that. So, no idea what that smells like. But I can imagine it is kind of what it says on the tin. You can smell that. It's kind of a, not musky, but it's not, it's like a heavier scent. 
than like a light fresh one but it is kind of verging on fresh completely like butchering the scent but if you like the smell of like Hollister or an Abercrombie store you would like this fragrance and I prefer it to like this original SoCal one because it's not so heavy and in your face Hollister but it kind of is and in that sense I wouldn't wear it for like a dressy occasion not that I really class any of my fragrances as like different things but I definitely wouldn't wear this to like a fancy dinner it's more of an everyday fragrance in my opinion but the thing is I don't wear this to work I do sometimes like very occasionally but I think it's more of a casual fragrance rather than I'm going business like so I more wear this at the weekends um, days off and things like that I don't tend to wear it at work although I had someone say it smelled like something else when I put a little bit too much on because it's quite light it doesn't smell that strong you can put quite a lot on hence why I'm probably halfway through the bottle I have had it a couple of years now maybe I got it last year can't remember at all but I would say more of a casual fragrance than more of a Business fragrance. Business fragrance to me is the Hugo Boss bottled. I wear that to work. That's like one of my favourite ones to wear to work. And then more dressy ones would be like Dior and Savage or Dior, um, Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb and things like that. So yeah, I wouldn't necessarily wear, wear this to work that much and I don't think it's that appropriate to wear to work, but it's much more of a casual, like, day off kind of thing, weekend vibes. So I've gone through the price, I think it's an okay price, I would prefer it to be a bit cheaper because it is Hollister. So £28, I feel they could have gone down, like, maybe 22 £20, £22 is more my price range, I think, of this being. Um, because it is a cologne, it's not that strong, but then again... It does last an okay amount of time compared like it doesn't last as long as like higher end fragrances and it has but it hasn't got the price of 50 pounds which is more of a higher end price for this size which is 50 mils but yeah i like the smell i would recommend it if you do like the hollister like abercrombie smell kind of thing which i still do i still love that scent i really want abercrombie fierce but it's like 58 pounds and for abercrombie Beards. I'm not paying £58 for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found for found. Hope you found this review somewhat helpful if you were thinking about buying Hollister Coastline. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please follow me on Instagram and I will see you next time. Bye!